So I noticed the dog was barking at something outside. So I went outside and uh, you can see uh, my pit bull fighting dog in the background. And um, so we've got a red back here. So I used a stick initially to pick him up. And it's a female. It's a fully grown female. One of Australia's deadliest spiders. So now remember, I've got over 27 years of spider handling experience. I can read just about any Australian spider very well. I have a lot of experience here. So this redback's hanging on a thread. She's just looking for a new nest. Not sure why she's walking around. This is very unusual. She's lost and uh, lands on my foot. So you can see there, these spiders are not aggressive at all. Now again, don't try this at home. I'm experienced. You're best off using a stick and putting the spider in a glass jar and taking it to part of the garden where it's not going to get hurt or hurt anyone else. I'm um, just showing you here that these spiders are not an aggressive species at all. So you can just put a glass jar in front of them and they'll walk into it. No worries. And you're moving somewhere else. So I'm just using my hand and foot as an example to show people that they're not aggressive. They're not out to attack you. Spiders don't eat humans. So you can see there, this is a cold winter's night. Very unusual to have this summer spider walking around. I'm not sure what she's doing. She's, uh, maybe the dog disturbed her or something, but it's very unusual to see him walking around. It's very dangerous for this spider to be walking around because they can get eaten by wolf spiders and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transport her to another side of the garden. So you can see how I'm letting her walk on me. I'm not picking her up. I'm not touching her, she's touching me. And just gently, again, I've got experience in handling spiders, so not something. And again, she's not falling. She's on a little thread there, a little safety line. And I'm gonna put her over to the bushes here, where she can have a, build a nice little nest and uh, lay her some eggs and breed some more <laughs> back fucking spiders in my backyard. And she's dropped down there, but all safe. Again, these spiders, they don't want to drop, so they always have a safety line. And there you go. Very gentle, peaceful spider. Again, I've had a lot of experience. I've literally handled thousands of spiders in my lifetime. Um, you can see the last spider bite there on my left knuckle. And actually, that's a herpes virus. I don't think spiders can contract it, though, so I didn't wear a rubber glove. Very beautiful spider. It's the Black Widow's cousin. Actually, more toxic than the Black Widow. It's the red back spider. And again, you can see a very timid, non-aggressive animal. Don't try this at home, though. Use a stick and a bit of glass.